We present a new algorithm to generate plausible human-like motion in constrained environments with multiple obstacles. Our algorithm uses a two-phase approach. First, we perform full body motion planning to obtain a collision-free path which satisfies kinematic and stable dynamic constraints. The resulting path may not be smooth or natural looking. Therefore, in the second phase, we improve the computed trajectory by blending the path with postures for motion capture data. Our approach can handle a model with many degrees of freedom. For example, the articulated model in our experiment has 38 degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom are partitioned into a hierarchical representation. Our articulated model uses five such partitions. We employ data from the Carnegie Mellon Motion Capture Library. Our approach does not require motion capture of the exact motion being generated. Motion that is roughly similar is sufficient. For our benchmarks, we found 20 such motion clips, although our generated motion is so different that it would be impossible to create it from local modification of the motion capture data. We use three challenging benchmarks to test the performance of our algorithm. These are constrained environments with multiple obstacles and tight spaces. Moreover, we need a full body planner to generate plausible paths in such an environment. We show our results at three different stages in our algorithm. The first, HMP, is the result of a decomposition planner which considers all constraints except naturalness constraints. The second stage, HMT1, is an intermediate result in which the planned motion is blended with natural looking motion. The final stage, HMT2, replans using the results from the second stage to produce natural looking motion for which all constraints are satisfied. In this benchmark, we have a virtual human moving an object from the floor to the table while avoiding four obstacles consisting of approximately 8,000 polygons. The output of our decomposition planner is a path that is collision-free and satisfies kinematic and dynamic constraints, but the motion does not appear natural. For the body components that are in open space, we use motion capture data to improve their motion trajectory. HMT2 applies path replanning using the result of HMT1 planning as a guiding path. The motion capture data serves as a bias towards a more natural trajectory. The result is similar to humans' behavior in constrained space. This is a similar benchmark. Here the table is farther from the human, so the environment is less constrained. The HMT1 planner still cannot produce good results. For example, the right hand rotates unrealistically. Our algorithm can give much more natural results. As the scene grows less constrained, the motion becomes more natural. In this benchmark, the human avoids collision with the desk, lamp, and walls to place the object on a shelf. In this example, the planner still cannot give natural results. In avoiding the narrow space near the lamp, the right hand moves unnaturally high. It's easy to see that HMT1 encodes the naturalness constraints. It already contains postures that go through the narrow passage between lamp and human body. The final blended result is more natural. This split screen video shows the initial path computed by the decomposition planner on the right and the final result when augmented with motion capture data on the left. The motion on the left is smoother and appears more natural. We show the complexity of the generated path via multiple camera angles. This is a complex benchmark. The human walks to the car, then bends and stretches to place an object. We need a whole body planner to generate such motions. Our approach can also handle the tight space inside the car.